Hey everybody, today we actually have something that um, is very important to me and uh, by default is actually important to you whether you know it or not. This is my personal laptop that I do all my editing and stuff on. It's an uh, older but well provisioned HP uh, EliteBook 450G3, I think if I remember correct. I should remember that because uh, I ordered the battery yesterday because I went to open my laptop up yesterday and saw this crack on the trackpad. And if I rub my hand across it, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's bloated. And if I remember correctly, the battery is right here. And the battery is probably four and a half years old, maybe. I think the battery is uh, bloating inside, has gone bad. Like I think it's here, like that, if I remember, something like that. Uh, I've had this open because I've upgraded the hard drive and uh, RAM and all that in it a few times, and I clean the fan out every now and again. So you can see that's a thin battery, should be right. Um, there's the package it comes in. Let's see, where's the part number? Do they have a part number? No, just some some poor instructions. <laughs> Rechargeable laptop. This is the instructions. Take your laptop apart. Put it in. Anyway, let's open it up. This hopefully should be pretty quick. I will clean it while I have it open too. It should just be these. One, two, three. Oh, take out that. Four. Now one of the screws is narrow, this one, I think that one up there, pretty sure if I remember. Alright, that should do it. Now this should just pop off, yep. Goody. This broke a year or so ago. It's just a, a thing for the LAN. I don't really use the LAN. <clears throat> yeah, Elite Book 850 G4. Keyboard type 0. It's got all the info on the inside, which is kind of funny. Oh, yeah. Look at the battery. It's a pillow. I can sleep on it. can really see that. Here, we'll try that way. Come on, focus. Anyway, the, uh, actually we should put it this way so we can look at it the same. So yeah, that actually swelled up and pushed on my trackpad, which is crazy. Had I kept running it, eventually it probably would have let the magic smoke out. I can kind of smell it. Oof, you see that? I'm really lucky. That could have really damaged something. Well, they didn't give me screws with this one. I gotta pull the captive screws out of that. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, nothing else is being pushed. That's good. Alright. New battery. Line it up. One, two, 
one, the spring. Where'd the other spring go? When it took that out, there was a, a spring on the other one that went flying. Well, we'll just use the one. Although, let me make sure that spring didn't fall in here somewhere. It did not, but we do have this uh, screw captive thingy, so we'll use that. So let's put that screw, let's put that screw near the connector. And they kind of have a captive, their own captive thingy in there. Yeah, all right. Wish I had not let that spring go flying, but it's all right. This is probably the last battery I'm putting in here. At some point, I do want to replace this machine and get something with an i9. It's a great laptop, but, you know, she's getting old. There we are. Tighten that one down. So there's the uh, old battery. It's a pillow. That's crazy. Let's see, is it? Feels like it's the two end cells. The middle one seems all right. Maybe we'll peel it open if we get feel so inclined. Let's put this back together. Oh, actually, before I do that, I should probably clean all that dust out. Let me uh, go do... Do I do that here? Where's my brush? There it is. Let's go through the heat sink. Oh yeah, much better. And then we can, do we see light through here? Do I see light? I do. You guys can't really see it, but this is one of the ways I check to see if the fans are clean. So we should see light through there. Yep, looks good. Let's just make sure there's nothing loose in there. All right. I like it. Now we can put the cover back on. Set this dopey thing back in. And that was that long one. And now all these guys go back in. And then we'll uh, flip it over and turn it on. And then the old battery will sew a uh, pillowcase. And then we can have a new, uh, new pillow. Not really. This one it looks like I'm probably short one or two, which I'm not entirely surprised by because I've had this thing open so many times. Let's 
says I'm short too. Let me go grab my screw bin. All right, so I found one, two screws. Now they're all back in, and I don't know how charged this is. I do have the power adapter, but let's just see. Let's just see if it does anything. Hey, that's good. And that feels flat again. <laughs> Lights came on. There we are. All right, we're good. You like my uh, security thing? So, anyway, that is how you replace the uh, pillow battery inside an HP Elite Book 850G4. If you have any questions about yours, put it down in the uh, comments below. I'll leave a link to where I got this battery in the description. It's not a, an affiliate link or anything. It's literally just the same link I clicked on. So check it out. And if you have any questions, again, stick it down in there. But uh, as always, thank you for watching.